see a single thing off my balcony. <laughs> oh my god. Good morning everyone, welcome back to the channel, welcome to a vlog. I don't know if this is going to be the first vlog of the year in real time, but if it is, <laughs> happy 2023. I started off a vlog last week and I thought that it would be good and continue it and then I just didn't. So there's that. Um, I'm trying to get back into the whole swing of things with YouTube, but it's just, I'm having a hard time, honestly. So thank you for being patient with me, but this week is very eventful. So I thought it'd be the perfect time to start off the weekly vlogs again. I don't know how long they're going to continue because y'all know me, but um, today is Tuesday, January 10th, and it is pouring rain as you guys saw from earlier. Um, it's been pouring rain like the entire week. California is just going through it right now, um, but I don't really mind it. It's kind of like, I don't know. It's nice, the rain lets you appreciate the 360 year sunshine days. I'm drinking some green tea, just took my morning vitamins, and I also just got my period yesterday, so I took my Advil. Um, otherwise, I will be miserable today. Um, and yeah, it's about, it's like eight, almost nine o'clock, 8.47, and I have an event at 10.30, so I'm just gonna do a little bit of work, maybe have some breakfast or something, because um, I've been trying to get better at not having Advil on an empty stomach, so I should actually probably make breakfast right now. I might just have something small. And then I'm gonna head over to Culver City because there's an event with Ilya. I think they're launching an eye cream or something. I'm not 100% sure, um, but they're doing a pottery class, which I'm so excited for because I did one pottery class before and it was so much fun. I recorded it just like randomly and the footage wasn't that great, but I posted it and it literally has over 2 million views on TikTok, which is crazy. So I'm definitely gonna be filming myself doing pottery again. Um, excited for that. Um, I'm thinking today, last time I made a matcha bowl, which actually let me show you because I haven't updated you guys. I made this cute little matcha bowl last time I went and it's been so useful I've used it for so much more than just matcha lately and I love it so so much so I think this time I'm gonna make like a deeper bowl because this one is kind of shallow so I think I'm gonna make a deeper like soup bowl or something like something that I can designate for soup or just like small meals so yeah it's gonna be like a little bit deeper than that so hopefully I can make that happen I had so much fun last time so really looking forward to it and then yeah I think they let me just double check because I feel like they asked us to come makeup free oh yeah we also encourage you to come fresh face with little makeup so you can experience a bright start in action so yeah it's an eye cream so I guess I don't really have to wear makeup I think I am going to do my brows and probably curl my lashes put some mascara on maybe a little bit of blush or something but nothing like you know on my actual skin. And then I have another event right after actually with Glow Recipe. Um, they came out with a new, um, what's it called? Cleanser, so I'll be heading over back downtown, I believe it's somewhere near downtown, maybe in the Arts District or something, um, for that event. And then there's more tomorrow and there's more the day after. So like I said, very eventful week, but hopefully your guys' years are off to a great start. Um, mine definitely is. It's been very peaceful and filled with love, so love that. honestly I did a really cool campaign with Mac um, for their new skincare line and I actually really really like this product it's called their serumizer and it just adds a really pretty glow it kind of reminds me of what this guy does the glow recipe dew drops which I've been using a lot if you follow me on TikTok but um, this one's actually meant to be worn with makeup so 
looks really nice on the skin. I really have to do my brows. They're looking like kind of crazy right now, honestly, but I don't have time for that. I don't really have time to explain everything I'm using and doing right now, but I'm going to link everything in the description as I always do. And then if I forget, just let me know in the comments. <laughs> I cannot for the life of me find my little flawless like hair remover thing that like helps get all the peach fuzz so my mustache is definitely mustaching right now. Note to self, go to Ulta today <laughs> to pick up another one because I can't be out here looking crazy like this. Anyways, um, okay, oh, what's that? I'm going to apply some blush. When I'm like curling my lashes and I miss a lash and one is just like sticking out straight, it's so annoying. Alright, that is as good as it's gonna get for my makeup. Let me turn this light on so you can see it a little better. I don't know if that really helped, but I do have to go. So I will see you guys at the event. I am all ready. I had a little dilemma with my outfit if you guys want to see check out my tiktok um i did a little get right with me but i decided to wear this jacket instead don't mind the background i was trying on a lot of different jackets but this is the winner it's like a gray cargo style jacket but i think it still looks cute even though it's not black so this is the fit i honestly feel horrible right now like my cramps are just like n not making me feel good but i'm gonna try to tough it out and go to this event and i'll see you guys later i let let you down and i know that i was not always around i made you feel just made it to the event thought I was gonna throw up like multiple times during that drive. I don't know what it is with this period, but it's just not fun. Hopefully I'm in the right place because I don't wanna be standing in the rain. back home from Target and now I need to run to this next event with Gloria Speed. Sun is 
finally coming out. This is the first time I've seen the sun. Actually, New Year's Day, it was like half sunny. Today, earlier, it was like pouring rain. It's starting to clear up now, and then I think it's going to clear, clear up tomorrow as well. So I'm gonna see if I can like maybe get outside tomorrow. I've been trying to like wake up for Fajr when there's like 30 minutes left, um, and then just like stay up. So I've been waking up around like 6.30, just before seven, um, and then doing something active. So I either go down to the gym. Today I did a kettlebell workout, which was extremely hard. I've never sweat that much in my life, but I actually really enjoyed it. So if I can remember, I'll link the kettlebell workout down below because it was actually really good. Um, but right now, oh, and then I've just been kind of chilling. I don't have like that much work today. Risky never came in today just because the weather was like not that great. Um, but I did get a package, so I wanted to unbox a few things. This, I believe, is a pair of shoes from Stuart Wiseman. I have just been obsessed with their shoes. Like, they have these one tall suede boots that I've been wearing. So, so good. Ooh, okay. These are sick. I've never had, like, a patent leather shoe before, and these feel really, really nice. Stuart Wiseman is, like basically more like affordable luxury actually no some of their stuff yeah it's it's like a designer shoe brand um but this is so beautiful i forget the name of the shoe oh it's the soho loafer in the black patent okay two more packages one is from mac which i'm actually really excited because i did a very secret skincare shoot with mac cosmetics which was just like a very much a career moment for me like a career high because obviously mac cosmetics is iconic um they're one of the first you know more expensive brands i started using in my makeup routine outside of drugstore and i mean they're literally an icon they're a legend they're mac cosmetics so i booked them for their hyper real skin line and it's like skincare meets makeup um well it's not skincare meets makeup it's skincare for makeup um, slash just skincare to be nice, but um, I'll actually post the little um, teaser video or whatever it is, the, the TikTok. It was a lot of TikTok content. I don't really know exactly where they're gonna be putting everything, but it is super cool, so I'll play that now. This is how to turn your skin into the perfect canvas for makeup. Two pumps of the serumizer here. MAC Hyper Real, skincare made for makeup. I literally filmed that right after getting off a flight from Colorado. They sent the skincare line, so I kind of just wanted to like open this on camera. Open it like this, and then it has like the new skincare line over here. It's so cool. So they came out with the serumizer, which was what I was focusing on in the content. And guys, this product is actually really, really good. I had to apply this serumizer like 700 times onto my face. Um, because obviously they're looking for like different shots and stuff so my skin really likes it <laughs> and um, this is what it looks like it's a really really beautiful like sparkly iridescent bottle and it's very like it literally just feels like a moisturizer oh, and it has little shimmers I, I didn't realize because you know I didn't have that much time to like play around with it on set but that's what it looks like it's super pretty and then next, I got a package from Rare Beauty, which I'm so excited about this, because when I open this, y'all, I almost let out a tear. Just look. Are you kidding me? Like, I've never seen them have a hijabi, like, front line and center on a PR package before. Like, that is just so freaking cool. Like, I freaking love that. There's like Selena and her little earrings, her Selena earrings, and then they gave us custom earrings too! How cute is that? So this one says AH for Aisha Harun, and I just, I just feel like that is the cutest detail ever. This is the shade Flaunt, super pretty. I don't really wear powder highlights anymore, um, so I don't, oh, wow, that's like super silky. Okay, I might actually have to play around in that. Plus, this shade Flaunt is actually very beautiful. That's so pretty. It's a very interesting applicator. I've, actually, I have seen one like this. It's by Kristen Dominique, or Dominique Cosmetics. But it's, like, supposed to be cooling. And, I, I don't know, it's kind of strange because I feel like it doesn't apply a lot. 
but maybe that's the point. I'm also, ooh, I'm making chipotle chicken bowls tonight, so I'm very excited for that. I just got my um, Instacart order, ordered a bunch of things from Sprouts, so I'm probably gonna go and marinate that in a bit, um, but I even got like the chipotle peppers in adobo sauce, so I'm excited. Like it's like an event and they have this really sick photographer um, and it's just kind of like a fun event it's for like their new highlighters I think or some of their new products and then they sent over the little like popular Selena Gomez earrings okay I have to see what I look like right now but last night um, I ended up meeting up with some friends because they were in town and I hadn't seen these people in like four years or something like it's been a minute so maybe even longer than that I don't even know but it was really fun we went to um, Crossroads Kitchen which is like a vegan restaurant and oh my god it was so freaking bomb like it was incredible like the food was just so good I was so shocked um, and then yeah I just like came home and knocked out basically because I had to wake up pretty early for this I'm kind of running late I was supposed to be there at 9 it's currently 9 15 and my ETA is 9 22 so Hopefully that's not too bad. Um, they allotted time for like hair and makeup. So since I don't have to worry about my hair being done by someone, um, hopefully the makeup doesn't take longer than an hour and then I can just quickly put on my own hijab. But I'm looking forward to it. I have needed some new headshots. So hopefully these turn out cute. Um, but yeah, I'm headed there now. And then I have another event a little bit later with Summer Fridays, which should be super cool. Um, and yeah, it's just going to be a fun day. I think Risky's going to come over a little later. I really wanted her to come with me to this shoot because I don't really like, I don't know, I, I feel like having another hijabi there that can make sure my hijab looks good for all the shots and like, you know, just help with styling and stuff is so important and usually they only have like hair and makeup artists, like they don't have hijab stylists obviously, so... Um, I kind of wish she was able to come, but it's all good. So, I will be hopefully vlogging while I'm there, and I'll show you guys what I get into. I'm excited. I did do my brows, by the way. I don't trust anyone to do my brows, so that had to be done. <laughs> so, I'm here on set, and I don't want to film too much because there's music playing, but... All the girls are getting their makeup and hair done. This is the inspo for today. And I'm just kind of getting set up as well. 
and I'm filming for TikTok too. I'm so excited. All right, so I wasn't able to actually film on set, like when I was getting my photos taken and everything. But that was so much fun. The photographer was insane. The photos look incredible. Um, I can't wait to get like the final product. But this is what my makeup turned out looking like. It's definitely a lot more glam than I thought it was gonna be. But I actually really like it. I think it showed up on camera really nicely. So I am gonna head back to my car and figure, ooh, actually I'm going to an event tonight, so maybe I might keep this on. I'm gonna try and see if I can keep it on because I really like how it turned out. Um, I'm kind of annoyed with my hijab because I meant to tie it another way, but I was just having some issues. So it didn't end up looking like how I wanted it to, like it looks very frumpy, but I think in photos it should be okay. I wanted to do like, I wanted to like wrap it around and then throw the sides back and I forgot a pin, so I couldn't do that. But it is what it is. I think I still look really pretty. And this was a fun morning. So I'm home now. And now that I'm home and actually, okay, one sec. Getting a better look at my makeup. It's really not that cute. <laughs> like, I just feel like it's just, too much there's a lot of creasing going on so I'm gonna just take it off and redo my makeup because I have an event later tonight with summer Fridays so I want to look cute for that there's gonna be like professional photos being taken and stuff so I got to make sure I look my best you know this is a horrible angle but I'm gonna use the new avocado um, cleanser that I got from Glow recipe yesterday, and then I'm also just gonna use my pharmacy green clean, which I need a new one of ASAP. And I'm gonna just take my makeup off. Oh shit, I forgot to take my rings off. <laughs> ugly ass angle <laughs> I am running to another event surprise surprise I told you it is just a week of events this week today I'm going to a more like casual one with super goop it's gonna be like a workout class and I'm actually bringing my friend Zahra so that should be really fun um, she's gonna meet me there and I'm surprisingly on time guys I think we get there like right on time so I'm excited about that it's gonna be I believe like a dance theme class or something, um, but it's for like their new bioretinol sunscreen or something. So this should be fun. So come along. I think we're gonna grab like um, lunch or breakfast or something a little bit after as well and just like catch up. So that's gonna be a good time. The whole reason why you guys are in this awkward angle is because I have like a million things in my hands right now. Sorry, I'm just gonna see y'all later, okay?
gonna say hi to my vlog to Neil. <laughs> We're gonna say hi. done with the super good event that was actually so much fun like they planned that out so well and the person who did the bar class or the bala class like she was amazing such high energy and kind of wish she had like in-person classes but and here was the house she just went to go wash her hands but um we're at zinke which is one of my favorite places in the West Hollywood area. I feel like I come here a lot, but I don't talk about it often. Hi, girl. Hello. Um, I was just saying, I come here a lot, but I never really talk about it that much. It's just kind of when I'm in the area, mm -hmm. this is the place I always go to. These fries are good. Yeah. Awesome. This food is very yummy, mm -hmm. but it's really cute. And we're just catching up and having a nice little girls' day. We got a little workout. Yeah, that was an amazing workout, guys. This was, yeah, it was a good idea. Yeah. Headed off right. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Inshallah. Mm. These are very good fries. <laughs> very, very good. Awesome. I'll show you when the food comes out, though. This is what I get every single time without fail. It is a grilled salmon with this spicy yogurt sauce that's not spicy at all. Eggplant, which is surprising because I normally hate eggplant, but in this, I don't mind it. And then it comes with some brown rice as well, and it's just such a yummy dish. I love it. Man. Yes, <laughs> yes. Oh, please. Please. shopping I do not need to be doing right now but I'm in APL because at the event that I was just at my friend Tanil and actually her daughter and another girl there was wearing these shoes and they looked so comfortable and I was passing anyway so I'm like I think I have to try them on good morning I look bald but I have an underpiece on right now I'm just getting my hijab steamed but Happy Friday. Today's Friday. We made it to the end of the week. This has genuinely felt like the longest week of my life. It has felt so long. It's been a good week, like filled with events. It's been fun. Got to see friends. Did some good work. Made some good content. But I'm happy that tomorrow's the weekend, to say the least. Today, Risky's here, and we're going to be actually doing a whole bedroom refresh um, as part of a partnership with TJ Maxx. So it's going to be really exciting. We did shopping for this on Monday, which was actually Risky's birthday. So shout out to her for working on her birthday. It was pouring rain that day, but we needed to get some items. And yes, yeah, so happy belated birthday to Risky. She is Miss 24 years old now. I know, and she doesn't look a day over 18. <laughs> but this is the before of my bedroom. Obviously, you guys saw me refresh the furniture and everything um, a couple, when was it? Like six months ago or something? But the actual bedding, you know, just needs some help. So it actually worked out perfectly because TJ Maxx wanted to do a whole bedroom refresh. And that's what we're going to do today. 
I'm getting. <laughs> She's like, please put this on your head. You look silly. <laughs> Some really, really cute items from TJ Maxx. So we have them all over here and we're gonna be going through it all and making my bedroom look really cute. So I'm excited. And then we also just put this together Risky went and got some flowers and um, look how cute they are. We have these like white peonies and isn't the five minute journal so cute, ah, yeah. right? I love it. We're gonna put that all together and we'll show you the after later on. lot longer than I thought it would but you guys the bedroom looks so freaking beautiful let me show you Ta -da! oh the lighting is very bright hold on there we go isn't that just stunning wow like I am so obsessed with how this turned out it looks so like fluffy and like it's not too warm, not too cool. It's like the perfect neutral color. We have these gorgeous peonies from Whole Foods and just everything is from TJ Maxx, literally everything. The comforter, the tray, blanket, pillows, everything, the candles, it's all from TJ Maxx. And then I also got this new thing. This is the only thing that I changed about this area aside from like getting new plants but like even look how pretty that is now in the background i'm obsessed it looks so so good this is gonna like elevate my bedroom content for 2023 i'm so obsessed and then i'm pretty sure this is supposed to be for soap but i thought it'd be so cute to like put over here for all my rings and any jewelry that i have to take on right uh, take off right before bed um these are the candles that we got they smell delicious they're rose and bergamot um, but they kind of smell like uh, lychee to me, so they're like just very fresh and yeah, and I we found these um, baskets, which is perfect because they're the exact size of this um, nightstand and now I can put like all my bonnets, I have like my massager, like my handheld massager over there, some extra hair ties, chargers, stuff like that, and it's just perfect. So very very happy with how it all turned out and i think i shared this on my story before but look what i did hey google turn the lights off okay turning the bedroom lights off isn't that so cool someone gave me the idea of this was a while ago actually but i think i was complaining of the fact that like this switch over here only works for that side of the room so like that lamp was the only one that would turn on and off and this one i had to like manually do so someone was like why don't you just connect them and use like an extension cord and run it across so i did that and not only that i found these like um smart plugs on amazon they they came in like a pack of four for like less than twenty dollars i'm pretty sure it was on sale um and i just plugged one in i set it up and now i can control my lights with my google so i'm very happy about that and um yeah just very happy with how the bedroom looks now i feel like it looks very clean and just hotel like it's so beautiful and i i feel like it's hard to find these kind of like euro pillows the square ones um, but we found this at TJ Maxx and it's like the perfect neutral color. It matches with everything and I'm just obsessed. So, so obsessed. Let me know how we did in the comments below. Oh, and if you want to see the actual content of like how I put everything together, make sure you follow me on TikTok and Instagram because um, I'll be posting everything uh, probably... I think it's set to go live like around February, like the second week of February, so stay tuned. And
and I did not film a proper outro. I just wanted to hop on and say thank you for watching. Um, let me know what you guys thought of this vlog. I'd love to continue them. Honestly, I had a really fun week just like finally getting back into vlogging. So inshallah, I will definitely be sharing more weekly vlogs with you guys soon or daily vlogs or whatever it is. Um, I also just need to generally get back into YouTube filming, like sit down videos, stuff like that. Like I haven't used my big DSLR camera in God knows how long, like genuinely months, probably even a year. Like I don't remember the last time I used that camera, which is insane. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to hopefully continue with this. I feel like my views on YouTube and engagement and everything have like significantly dropped down. I don't know if that's because I haven't posted in a while and the algorithm is like, girl, we're not pushing you no more. Or if people have just like actually transitioned to more short form content. So let me know. Also, I'm very curious. Do you guys watch shorts? Because if so, I'm going to start reposting my TikToks and stuff or making specific shorts for you guys instead um, because I feel like that's like a lot of people are watching that now which is crazy it's just like short form content it's a new girl in town but you know me I love to talk so hopefully these vlogs <laughs> will not be going anywhere but thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe if you are new um, and uh, yeah I will talk to you guys in the next video bye